According to Apollo News, in June 2020, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, and the Indian Army had a serious violent conflict in the Ladakh region. It was reported that to comply with the tactic agreement not to use guns, both sides fought with cold weapons, such as knives, sticks, and even maces, resulting in at least 24 deaths. In December 2022, it was rumored that China's People Liberation Army, PLA, mobilized 300 to 600 soldiers under the pretext of commemorating dead soldiers on duty in 2020. But in fact, clashes broke out with 150 soldiers in the Tawang area near the line of actual control, LAC, in the Himalayan border region. However, the PLA failed to take advantage of its numerical superiority and, and the conflict ended quickly in less than 48 hours. According to U.S. News and World Report, at that time, the Indian Army could intercept the PLA's actions after receiving real-time information from the U.S. military, forcing the PLA to retreat. The report indicated that this is the first time the U.S. government has provided the Indian Army with real-time information on the PLA's location and deployment. This information, including satellite images that could be used as the action basis, is said to transmit faster and with a higher resolution. This successful support is evidenced by the PLA's failure to react. The U.S. also said the new partnership with India is effectively tested in the remote mountainous area, which could prepare for future conflicts with China. According to the report, the intelligence sharing mechanism stems from the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement, BECA, signed by the U.S. and Indian governments in 2020 to ensure a smooth and effective exchange of military information, logistics, compatibility, and security between the two countries. The report cites an intelligence analyst as saying the Indian Army's interception of the PLA in December 2022 will make the Chinese feel uncomfortable because the PLA always had the upper hand in such small-scale conflicts before. Officials acknowledged that, while India had found cooperating with the U.S. military can get a better influence source, it also kept its distance from the U.S. on many issues. For example, abandon the purchase of U.S. drones and resolutely maintain economic and energy relations with Russia. India's foreign policy may revolve around dealing with security threats from China and securing its rise in the power balance in Asia. India might not become an official ally of the U.S., still as an important partner in the Asia-Pacific region, especially in curbing the CCP's expansionist ambitions. India will be an indispensable part in forcing China to rethink land grabs along the border.